So Donna does it you feel defeat the Harmonakis today, what's your assessment on that? I think we got what we deserved. Uh, the better team won, I think we were more poor kind of for the start. Uh, we never really won first balls, second balls, and and again we obviously they, they get the penalty, which again the, I get great save for the player. And I thought you'd maybe get a wee kick on or a wee bit of momentum, but then five minutes later or whatever, they then go and get the second goal, sorry, the, the first goal. Um, again, we could lose the ball in the middle of the park, and, and again, it's times when we should have better possession. I think the whole first half was kind of littered with us giving it away and then creating counter attacks for them. Uh, we've got to kind of pass it better. Also, the midfield, we never going to get up close enough to the striker when we did get balls up, which again, we're poor up to deal most of the day when we did get balls up to them. Then uh, we weren't getting there quick enough, we weren't getting there um, sharp enough to kind of support and then get the ball back and get wide. Uh, and, and the times that we did manage to kind of get into that kind of final third, then the delivery probably wasn't good enough for the ball across the face, wasn't kind of good enough. Uh, but again, we were in the half time 1 0, we're still in the game, we've still, we've still got a, again 45 minutes to try and get to back in it, but then we, we kind of lose a, a poor goal again. For your point of view, good play for them, but poor for, for your side of things, and the guy gets a free header. Uh, but disappointing. Yeah, for a third, third we kind of really went for an unchanged team. What was your thoughts behind that? I thought so the guys have played well and they deserve it. We've played three full time teams in a row. Uh, off the back of that, the performances have been great, the standards have been great, uh, and again, it's one of those ones where if you drop below your standards, against a, especially against a full time team, then they'll punish you, and that's exactly what happened today. You saw the the players that they've got to bring on to go and cause problems uh, and again it's sometimes you need to kind of accept uh, these things personally and, and <laughs> collectively we know we can do better and that's the frustrating thing to go and run Falkirk's a close hole last week the week before you get Queen's and in midweek it was in Hamilton as well so to go and play the way we have and then drop the standards is, is disappointing but like it's something we need to we'll work on it's something we'll kind of look back on and, and kind of see where it went wrong uh, and then again we, we look we're wins and we see how we are come Tuesday, Thursday for training for a few injuries, a few knocks, a few niggles, uh, and then off the back of that, we look to prepare for them and chose. Yeah, it's one of the most disappointing things that we touched in the Falkirk game. The amount of chances we had against a full time Falkirk side, but not getting the amount of chances again against yeah. a full time team today. Yeah, we spoke about that in the other now. I've seen <coughs> what's, what's kind of went wrong. We've not asked them to do anything different. It's again the same team, same formation. They know what's expected, they know where they should be. So, for whatever reason, they would just need to be that wee bit off it today. Um, again, Again, at 1-0 you're still always in it, uh, and they get the second goal, uh, and then after we get the second goal we, we finally kind of get two or three balls out wide, we get laybacks, we get them into the box, we, Dale has a wee half chance, Dale, both Dales, Dale Hilson and Dale can get a couple of opportunities, um, and again when we don't make the goal, what what the goalkeeper enough, uh, Kieran Lawford came on as well, had a couple of opportunities cutting in on his right, but again just doesn't get the shot away and maybe tries a wee pass, and so it was kind of a frustrating day all round. Yeah, and back home to fourth back next week to face Montrose. How do we prepare for that one? Again, it's, a, it's an, a, an opportunity for us. I'm looking for a reaction. I'm looking for a reaction of the guys. There's seven games to go, um, and again, depending on how the results have went elsewhere, against but you're, you're kind of you're up against it. So we know we're not getting excited and thinking that we're we're going to do this and we're going to do that. We take it a game at a time, but at the same time, that's now I think it's five five full time teams I think out of the last six. So uh, it's kind of good to get back to kind of playing a part time team. Um, and I think now there's seven games to go, of which we've maybe got six, seven, seven, oh, sorry, five or six part-time teams to go. So the other ones that we should should be looking to be definitely picking up points. The other games, yeah, we, we, we played really, really well, and yeah, in that changing room we expected better and we expected more. And uh, to pick up only got two points now in the last four games, when realistically we should have had two or three victories um, the day. It's one of those ones we take it on the chin, um, but now we look forward and everyone's kind of at it come Tuesday, Thursday, and then we like to see what kind of team we play, whether we stick with formation, whether we change it, or whether we change in personnel. Excellent, Dara, thanks a lot. Thank you.